Welcome back to the Barbecue Lab. My name is David Gafford, and today we're gonna to teach you how to make the Barbecue Lab sweet and spicy rub. If you're anything like us, you have your favorite barbecue rub that you buy at the store, but it's something else when you're able to make your own rub at home and be able to say, yeah, that's the rub that we made. We actually put that together ourselves, but it's so hard to find a really good recipe for a good barbecue rub. So we want to share one of our rubs with you, and we call this the Barbecue Lab Sweet and Spicy Rub. Because, for at least in my experience, you're going to find that rubs have a great spicy and sweet component. It's that sweet heat combination that makes a rub really, really good. So let's go ahead and walk through the components of what we have here. We have a quarter cup of sea salt, a quarter cup of turbinado sugar, we have a quarter cup of garlic powder, a quarter cup of onion powder, and then a quarter cup of Hungarian paprika. Now there's a bunch of different paprikas you can add in here. There's American, there's Hungarian, there's Spanish, there's smoked. It just depends on what kind of a component you want to add to this rub. But for us, we actually like the Hungarian uh, flavor of the Hungarian paprika. Also, we have three tablespoons of black pepper and then two tablespoons of both cumin and brown sugar. Now notice we have two different types of sugar here. We have the turbinado sugar and we have the brown sugar. Different ratios, but we're gonna add both of them into the, into the mix here. Now when we get down here, we actually have a tablespoon of chili powder and we have a tablespoon of chipotle chili powder as well. So a tablespoon of both regular chili powder and chipotle. And we have a tablespoon of dry mustard. Dry mustard is a great component to add to a barbecue rub and one that not a lot of people will add to theirs, but it's gonna add this component that you're not gonna to wanna to miss. And lastly, what we have is one teaspoon of cayenne pepper that we're gonna to add to this rub. Now, the whole idea is we just need to get all of this incorporated together, get it in the same bowl, mix it up, and it's ready to go on any of your favorite meats or vegetables to barbecue on the grill. All right, so we've got all of the spices incorporated in the same bowl. And if you look at this, you can see these amazing layers of flavor that we have here. Everything from the different sugars to the paprika, to the different the garlic and the onion powder, all the way down to the cayenne and the chili powders that we have in there. All of this together is going to give us an amazing spicy and sweet rub that's going to give us a great flavor on all different types of dishes. So now all we've got to do is incorporate, incorporate this together and I like to use my trusty whisk and just take this, make sure we knock out all the clumps. So it's as simple as that. You take those simple ingredients, you put them together, and you've got a gorgeous barbecue rub that you can use on everything from ribs to pork butt. We love using this on meatloaf. Now, if you're gonna use this on a brisket, I would suggest cutting back the sugars a little bit because on a brisket, you don't wanna have sugars on there for a 12 hour, 14 hour cook that are really gonna burn and get way too overdone. But this is something that we use on ribs. We'll use this on chicken. We'll use this on all types of different meats and even vegetables. It's great to sprinkle over vegetables, but I really hope you try this. I want you to take this recipe, go out there, put it together, try it on a few things, and leave us comments below and let us know how it went for you. Now, I hope you like this video on the Barbecue Lab because we exist to be able to make you a better pitmaster. 
We want you to win your weekend. And the whole goal is that you can impress and surprise your loved ones and your neighbors with great barbecue and great food out of the backyard. So if you found this video helpful, leave us a like and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Ring that little bell so you can be notified of new videos when they come out. And our goal is to put out one to two videos every week to help you be better at outdoor cooking. So we love that you joined us this time in the Barbecue Lab and we look forward to seeing you next time right here.